What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. KitchenAid has been a household name in the culinary world for years, known for their high quality and versatile stand mixers. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at some of the top KitchenAid mixers available, discussing their features, and helping you decide which one is right for you. So, if you're in the market for a new stand mixer or just curious about what makes KitchenAid stand mixers so popular, sit back, relax, and let's get started. The first product on our list is KitchenAid Artisan Series 5 Quart Tilt Head Stand Mixer. The Artisan Series mixers are very popular with users, and after testing it for ourselves, it was easy to see why. The mixer is substantial enough to tackle home cooking and baking projects with ease, but not so bulky that you'll need a helper to move the mixer into storage if you don't keep it on your counter. Testers say the 5 quart stainless steel bowl is big enough to hold double batches of cookies and royal icing and manage to mix cookie dough, whipped cream bread dough, and even pasta dough efficiently during lab and home tests. The bowl twists into place at the base of the mixer, and the top motor housing tilts up to give you access to the bowl and make fitting and releasing the bowl and attachments easier. We tested the KitchenAid Artisan 5-quart tilt head model alongside three other mixers from KitchenAid's stand mixer lineup in our lab, as well as eight stand mixers from competing brands. Its performance in mixing, whipping, and kneading was consistently better than most of the other machines. Balanced with great design and value for the price, this stand mixer is essential for nearly anyone who's serious about baking. There's nothing this model can't do. The motor is powerful enough to knead dough or whipped cream, and the front power hub is compatible with more than additional 10 KitchenAid attachments. The tilt head locks into place with a knob on one side of the machine, and the speed is adjusted with a sliding knob on the opposite side. There are 10 speeds that range from a slow, stir, to heavy-duty beating. The included attachments are a silicone edge paddle, wire whip, and dough hook. Plus, it's available in over 15 different colors, so you're guaranteed to find one that you love. The next product on our list is KitchenAid Classic Series 4.5 Quart Stand Mixer. While KitchenAid stand mixers might never be considered inexpensive, this tilt head model is the least expensive option for a new machine that KitchenAid currently offers. It's about $120 less than the Artisan 5 Quart model, due to its slightly less powerful motor, smaller bowl size, and limited color options. On the upside, the 275 watt motor is a little quieter than some of the other higher powered models. The bowl has a 4.5 quart capacity and no handle, although it's still plenty large enough to mix two batches of cookie dough and a big batch of frosting. The machine weighs 25 pounds, which is heavy enough to keep it anchored to your kitchen counter while mixing. It can even tackle small batches of bread dough when mixed at lower speeds. Otherwise, this stand mixer comes with the same three attachments as the other machines and the same attractive mixer silhouette. It's built just as sturdily as the other stand mixer models, is compatible with the same additional hub and bowl attachments, and can easily last you several decades of use when operated with care. While you can't choose from a rainbow of colors like you can with the Artisan model, you do have the choice of several classic KitchenAid colors, including onyx black and white. The next product on our list is KitchenAid Artisan Mini Stand Mixer. Sometimes it's not a special design or price that's the major factor when shopping for a mixer, but how much space it takes up on your countertop and potentially in your cabinets. Just because you live in a tiny studio apartment or have limited storage doesn't mean you have to forego a stand mixer, and since it's KitchenAid, you don't have to sacrifice style either. The Artisan Mini 3.5 Quart Tilt Head Stand Mixer is nearly an exact replica of the Artisan 5 Quart model, but shrunk down by about 30%. The footprint of the 5 quart model is about 14 by 8.75 inches and is around 14 inches tall, whereas the Mini 3.5 quart model has a footprint of about 12.25 by 8 inches and is around 12.25 inches tall. When every inch counts, this mixer maximizes how much you can do with a small amount of space. We put the Mini 3.5 quart mixer to the test in our lab to see how it compared to some of the other KitchenAid models, and our testers found that it performed all of the same functions that the larger models did, just as well. It whipped cream to full volume quickly and quietly, paddled a single batch of cookie dough together with ease, and showed no signs of distress while kneading a small batch of bread dough. The only drawback is that the size of the bowl is really only appropriate for single and small batch recipes. This Artisan Mini Mixer is also one of the lowest priced mixers in the KitchenAid lineup, which is also helpful for someone who might not be looking to spend quite as much. It comes with the same three standard mixing attachments that all KitchenAid stand mixers have, including a wire whip, flex edge beater, and dough hook. The next product on our list is KitchenAid Professional 600 Series 6 Quart Bowl Lift Stand Mixer. The Professional 600 Series Mixer is the perfect piece of equipment for serious bakers. During testing in our lab, we found the 575-watt motor was strong enough to knead dough for long periods without overheating, struggling, or damaging the machine, even when mixing multiple loaves of bread back-to-back. -back. 
This model comes complete with a slow stir speed feature, which means the mixer starts at a slower speed, so you're less likely to spew flour all over the kitchen or spider wet ingredients before it's all neatly incorporated. The larger 6-quart bowl can easily handle a double recipe of dough at a time. One of the trade-offs for being able to handle more is that the machine is also heavier than the smaller models, weighing about 29 pounds. So you'll need to consider leaving the mixer on your countertop when it's not in use if it's too heavy to pull in and out of the cabinets regularly. The way the bowl attaches to the mixer is also different than the connection on the 5-quart and small tilt-head mixers. The bowl connects to the mixer at three points, over two pins on the lift arms, and pressed into a metal tab at the back of the machine for stability. Our testers noted that it takes some practice to get the hang of attaching the bowl, and it takes a little more force than you might initially expect. But the tight fit ensures that the bowl will stay in place while the machine works hard. This stand mixer model is currently available in at least 10 popular KitchenAid colors and includes a one-year limited warranty. KitchenAid also offers extended one, three, and five-year protection plans for the six-quart bowl lift stand mixer. The next product on our list is KitchenAid ProLine Series 7-Quart Bowl Lift Stand Mixer. This mixer is the largest capacity bowl lift mixer designed for home use and can often be found in professional kitchens as well, featuring the same attractive stainless steel design. This machine is a little larger and houses a 1.3 horsepower motor. The 7-quart bowl accommodates up to 16 cups of flour, making it the perfect addition to any kitchen that's whipping up large batches of baked goods on a regular basis. Most reviewers who bake regularly praise this workhorse of a mixer, and during our lab tests, we'd have to agree that it's incredibly powerful. We whipped cream, mixed cookie dough, and kneaded bread in this stand mixer and found that it was able to accomplish all of those tasks without a struggle. The 7-quart bowl can easily fit double, if not triple the amount of dough, although our tester noted that it might need to be scraped down to help thoroughly mix all of the ingredients in the larger bowl. We also found that, while this bowl is larger than the other home-use KitchenAid mixers, it's able to handle small quantities of ingredients just as well as large quantities. However, weighing in at 32 pounds, it's heavy to move in and out of storage, so it's best to find a permanent spot for it in your kitchen. When mixing heavier ingredients at a faster speed, the machine also gets a little louder, thanks to the more powerful motor. As with all of the other KitchenAid mixers, you'll get a dough hook, a flat beater, wire whip. It also comes with a pouring shield to help guide both wet and dry ingredients into the mixing bowl while it's in operation without making a mess. The next product on our list is KitchenAid Commercial Series Stand Mixer. Choosing a mixer for a professional kitchen, then this commercial grade pick is the best KitchenAid mixer for you. This bowl lift mixer is NSF certified and features an 8-quart brush stainless steel bowl. Its 1.3 horsepower motor is more than enough power for large or small batches, but you don't have to worry about the motor overheating. Several reviewers also report that it operates more quietly than previous KitchenAid models they've owned. You can choose to purchase it with or without a metal bowl guard, which prevents extra ingredients from being added while the mixer is in motion. Included are a power kneed spiral dough hook and flat beater, both of which are made of stainless steel and can be put in the dishwasher. The wire whip is also stainless steel but shouldn't be put in the dishwasher. That's not all. It also has the power hub where you can connect more than 12 different attachments for a variety of different kitchen tasks, though they need to be purchased separately. The next product on our list is KitchenAid KHM 926 9-Speed Digital Hand Mixer. The only hand mixer we included in our reviews is the KitchenAid KHM 926. With nine different speeds, it's safe to say that it's not your average hand mixer. You can use it in a lot of ways. Start with the slowest speed for folding chocolate chips into your dough, move up to five or six to cream butter, and turn it all the way up to nine to make whipped cream or meringue. The soft start feature works up to the selected speed gradually to prevent any unwanted splashes or splatters. Another cool feature of this mixer is that the cord locks in place, so you can approach your mixing bowl from any angle. The soft grip handle is comfortable and easy to control, and everything easily wipes clean. That said, some users have complained that the button placement on the handle is not ideal for small hands. A simple push of a button removes the current accessory from the mixer, so you can swap it out for another one quickly. It includes standard beaters, a whisk, dough hooks, and a blending rod as well as a storage bag to keep everything together. One downside is that some people complain that the beaters are balanced well and can wobble at high speeds. That said, it's covered with a one-year warranty that should cover any issues with parts. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video helped you out. Don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you later.